what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel but tonight we're going to be talking about this 2013 another one king ranch i freaking love them this one's got a rear knock sensor problem and i want to show you a new tool from promax that's going to help us take this sensor out all right guys let's check it out I already replaced the front one, had to put a turbocharger on this truck, and also had to do a couple of regens, but the one code that keeps coming back is our P207F. That's probably the worst code to have on one of these 6.7s. 20EE for a Luma Duty, 207F, well, that could be a Luma Duty, but 207F for the steel body trucks. Now, what I am suspecting right now is that we have a lazy NOx sensor. It's like an oxygen sensor, but it's not reading the oxygen content in the exhaust. It's reading the oxides of nitrogen. And if it does not read correctly, we're going to get the check engine light on and it's just going to cause us a bunch of havoc. But Promax team by Milton has came out with an air hammer power Knox and PM sensor removal kit and check it out. We have some taps to re-secure the threads in the DPF, but we also have a whole bunch of different adapters for we have let's see if we can let's see if we can focus this. We have this tall Thin wall is for a Jeep Ram Eco Diesel, and then we have another Ram Eco Diesel PM sensor for the Power Stroke. We have a Dirty Max and the Power Stroke Knox sensor remover removal. We have a low profile PM and a low profile Knox sensor adapter. So the theory behind this is. Once you put this on the knock sensor, you take the air hammer and put it in its specifically designed places so that you can tighten it or loosen it. And for this application, I think I'm going to use the thin wall. We're going to hopefully use just this and Promax's air hammer bit. I'm gonna bring my air hammer out. I have to take this out and put this in. Check it out. Oh, and it doesn't turn either. Ooh. So you can index it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go under the truck. All right, everybody. Here we are underneath the truck. Rear knock sensor. We have one knock sensor right here, right on the inboard side, I'm right on the outboard side. And then we have this lovely rear one that is right here at the end of the DPF. So we're using a 996-8 adapter and you can kind of figure out where the best spot for you to be is. So I don't want to put it right here and then hit it because I'm not going to have anything to continue the rotation. So let's put it right here so then I can air hammer and get it straight and then do that the same thing and then do that the same thing or you can take it off and re-index it. But I want to start right here. I, uh, in leaving one step out, I did leave this truck running for about 35 minutes before I pulled it in and then immediately went and put some penetrant all over the base of the sensor. So I haven't used any mat gas. I haven't used any torches. Cover your ears because it's air hammer time. Ho, 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 Are you kidding me? Check that out. That's freaking awesome. 133,000 miles on a rusted Michigan truck. That looks like it's going to come out all the way. I'll just keep going. Could it have been the lubricant? Or was it the Pro Max 2? 